Hello, so I'm in the park. I just wanted to have a quick conversation and show you some of the things that I got for Christmas. Because I thought, you know, you guys like to see them. I don't necessarily feel like I have to show them. I know that people are interested. And I had some really special things this year, so I want to share. I have been looking for some tiny talisman type of jewelry. I wanted to get some basics. So I'm wearing everything right now, as you can probably already tell. And I ended up with this really beautiful diamond huggies in white gold everybody's staring at me right now <laughs> this is Spain and I love them I didn't even take them off to sleep in because I used to have diamond studs which I loved but they were a bit I don't know I feel like I see everybody in diamond studs and I just wanted something different but equally tiny not ostentatious that doesn't scream jewelry that is just like a sparkle and real diamonds do sparkle a lot more than other stones they sparkle in rainbow colors which i like so i got these little huggies which were a present from my mom i asked for them because they are kind of expensive and then while i was here in valencia i found a ring and i have been looking for a very delicate kind of plain diamond band and I found this one which is so pretty and it sparkles really nicely in real life right now it's cloudy and it's just not showing up you can see the sparkle more here in this light for example but it's exactly what I wanted so you can wear this by itself or I can combine it with pretty much anything and I wanted something in white gold because my watch, which I will show you right now, all my watches are white, white metal. The other thing that I got, I got a Tag Heuer watch that I'm in love with because I wanted something more casual than my usual Frank Muller. And this one is perfect and I love the metal strap because then you can wet it, you can shower with it, you can swim with it, you just don't have to worry about it as much. You don't have to replace it every six months like I do with the alligator strap of the other watch. So what's special about this watch, this is the Curium and this was released in 1997. It was the first model that was released by an independent Tag Heuer. Tag stands for Techniques d'Avant-Garde and I consider myself very avant-garde so that's nice. And it was advertised by the drivers from the McLaren Mercedes Formula One team. I think it's the only quartz watch where you can see the red and green Tag Heuer logo. They discontinued this one in 2003. So it's just a couple of years that I like a lot, the end of the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. It's a fashion that I'm really into.